Well, the shooting in Martinsville, Indiana, brings reminders of the dangers of kids with guns in schools. Those dangers have become a priority for law enforcement and schools throughout the Wabash Valley ever since the attack at Columbine High School in Colorado. News 10's Mike Grant finds out if local police are ready to respond. The events at a Martinsville Middle School are the worst nightmare for schools, police, students, and parents. Two students involved in a dispute that escalates until one gets a gun and shoots another. The nightmare of a school shooting has led police in southern Indiana to train and plan for just such a scenario. Our tactical unit has worked with all three school corporations, North Knox, South Knox, and Vincennes, along with Vincennes City Police and in Indiana State Police, into uh, learning the layouts of the schools, uh, the school's protocols. Officials here say that they can respond to a shooting like the incident that happened in Martinsville, but a better answer is to stop it from ever happening. And the way you do that is if you see something or hear something, tell someone. Uh, if a friend would by chance tell you that uh, he's planning to do something or she's planning to do something in an erratic manner, uh, contact the school authorities. You know, they're, they're trained to handle such as this, and if necessary, they will contact the local, local police authorities. Police say usually someone knows ahead of time that trouble's brewing at a school before a gun gets involved. Saying something to either school officials or police could stop the shooting from happening. In Vincennes, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Now, police say it is not just students who should keep an eye out for trouble. Parents should also look out and try to head them off.